being uh, super jarring. Um, yeah. Let's give it a watch. I actually, this is a nice okay, overlay. Fun fact about this match, Lucrecio has openly said on Twitter that he thinks Weferino is overrated. And this kid, Weferino, is sitting here at the, the setup right now with the look of the devil in his eyes. This man is about to reach into Lucrecio's soul. Oh, man. Indiana Jones <laughs> the Mike Hayes, his heart out. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling it. The Mike Hayes rule is where someone would, where um, excessive actions outside of a game uh, can be, can, you know, at the discretion of the TO, obviously. Can be used as uh, can be used basically. Yeah, can be basically used. Excessive distractions outside of the game can be used as grounds for disqualification. So, for example, what Mike Hayes did once in the uh, in the brawl days is he, when he was getting chain grabbed by an ice climbers, he started screaming really goddamn loudly and was putting off the ice climbers with it. Um, so the same with thing with Lucrecio is going <laughs> mid game. Um, would be, well, would be considered uh, outside. It would be like considered like outside a uh, distraction, which is really unsportsmanlike like anyway. I really don't like it. Like I mean, sometimes you just talk, sometimes you just gotta say something. But doing that is like it's an in, it's intentionally trying to. It wasn't wobbling. It was just ice time was chain grabbing. But yeah, it was basically a distraction, and um, it was basically. There, in order to stop people from trying to distract people outside a game, which is really uh, unsportsmanlike. Like, I'll probably start in start uh, adding it, but trying to enforce it is difficult. Yeah, he, he straight up said he does it intentionally to put people off. He is, he he says he's try he tries to move out he moves outside a game to try and get a reaction out of the other person, thinking he's going to do something. And I think even if you don't react to that, you kind of still get react to it because you notice it and you just kind of like laugh. Coughing on people. Nah, that man would get thrown out of the venue. Coughing on people. Nah, allow that. DQ that man from existence. I'd pause the game and punch him. Allow that. Can't cough on me, fam. I'm not sure what's more scarier. More scarier. You don't know what he's thinking. You actually do not. So Lucretia has said to me before. How far ahead do we have to go? How it unfolds? Mm. I guess down there actually is. It goes through ledge. Yeah. And Firefox. That's true. That's very true. I, I've, yeah. I've eaten that so many times at this rate that, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, game one, go to Town City. You can definitely see this is the neutral stage in the matchup. Very interesting. Lucrecio versus Weferino. Alright, we got top player Lucrecio versus. Right, this is a short set, so I'm scared of how this is going to go. But that was bad. Oh my goodness. We are, someone asked him for one overrated player, and he was like, Weferino. So, okay. if that's the one guy came to mind, you know? I guess. But is Wef, is Wef gonna mm. shut his mouth? Uh, the answer is no. Even if he wins, the Griffio never shuts his mouth. But <laughs> true. Uh, getting the up tilts. Mm. Yeah, that was that, that's yeah. nice. A standard fox combo stuff. All right, good patience, but Wef's that. Wef arena. Oh my god, I've never faced by it. Catches the jump. I like uh, Lucrecio's spacing of the gyro though. He kind of put it at a landing distance. Had like a little bit of space between him. Oh, very preemptive there. That wouldn't yeah. even have killed. I don't really know what Lucrecio was looking no, for. No, this is looking for damage and pressure, I guess. Yeah. I would have been. Bit of an overcommitment though. Yeah. I do agree with that. Oh, that short hop. That is very menacing. Yeah. Oh, he actually went for the nair after the backer. That was a nice spike, yeah. yeah. You kind of like were left without options there, so I don't. Yeah, so, so that just kind of happened. That's a strong down air too. It's strong. That kill was mad early. Active as well. I've died I, like 30 to that. I think there's about six, seven active frames or spike. And that's insane. You don't get that with any other character. Last we've seen is have one. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, oh wow, he did have the gyro on the tech up. The crush is moving in his seat like he does start to make some noise. Oh wow, what wow, is this? The gyro. Oh my goodness. What is Sight and play right now? I think Lucrecio feels pretty comfortable. He's playing yeah, well. Yeah, like. he's playing around him. He's wrapping him around, around his little finger. All these mad Oh, he's on and the gyro up smash. I did. I knew it. As soon I as did tell you about that. That's the setup that. That was game. That's one of the standard he's setups that. Doing neutral get up with Lucrecio is such a terrible idea. Match of the century, man. Is Weferino about to, to prove Lucrecio wrong, or is, is 2PL about to log back into? The <laughs> Say whatever he says. Going to Dreamland, yeah, this is a kind of a favourite stage of Weferino, oh, yeah. from what I can tell. Lucrecio also loves this stage. He does, and that's. I hope we didn't see the thing. Uh, <laughs> at, at the last match dash I went to, 
yeah. he, he won a step game five against DG with the robber side. It was it was absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah. my god. Did he take a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maybe. You know to do that. Maybe. Alright. Oh my goodness. Okay, down there's him out the gyro charge. Oh, West. I think he wanted to. I don't know. He went for a back air there, but like he was in yeah. front of him, so I don't really know what he was there. Probably in there, some kind of I... pressure. Does need to play I, 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 honestly, like, I have no idea what you're doing with all these down airs. You're doing so many of them. Yeah. Whoa, what happened to that VOD? Uh, like, that gyro, like, one thing to consider is that that gyro is king. You need to not have to deal with that. That's honestly Rob's main tool for everything. And I'm not really seeing you deal with it. I feel, I don't, I, this is definitely not you at your best. I just want to point it out there, because I've seen, I've played against you at your best, and that's, that's not it. Um, there's a lot of these poorly spaced aerials, which Rob is honest, you know, Rob's going to eat that up. Like, the a lot of the issue with Rob is that his out shield game is not strong, but it's only not strong at range. So you should really be like spacing these things. Um, by doing stuff like right point blank on him, like like these back airs going into him and stuff like that, you're kind of playing into into Bob's favor. Uh, the uh, like I said, the gyro is honestly a huge issue. Um, you're just kind of letting it letting it do its thing. They are denying the down smash out of shield punish. Alright. Again, the pressure just pelting him on projectiles. Not I feel like you're trying to play it like if you were playing against me or like someone else who's going to jump around a lot. But like the pressure is never going to run around much because he's not, never going to jump around because he's wrong. Rob, Rob doesn't want to be in the air. What happened there? Hang on, I, I missed that completely. Alright, we went F smash. So I just want to point this out, by the way. Watch Lucrecio. Watch this spit, okay? I don't like that at all. I absolutely do not like that. Look, you can see Wep shook by it. You see he's looking over like, well, okay then. I feel like whenever Lucrecio has an idea that, oh, they're gonna approach, he just up smashes. He doesn't care. He actually just doesn't. I'm not gonna lie, it feels to me like that. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my Dreamland. god! You're playing on Dreamland, that is ah. game! That was so quick! They don't call him top player for a reason! <laughs> Alright. That was. That was a set. That was so tragic! That was definitely oh a god. set. That was sad! That was sad, pathetic, tragic. Just everything was uh. negative. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd agree. Right. I think the is pretty underrated. Yeah, that's it. The crush you're taking it 2 0 for referee now. Right, so, um, ignoring the unsportsmanlike behavior that took place during that game, um, I. You definitely weren't playing your best, Wef. Uh, the main thing is honestly, like you honestly, you you should probably be you could probably be able to watch over this bot and figure out what you were doing wrong yourself. I don't know what he's thinking. All of these downers, I feel like these are uh, these are I don't know the matchup downers. You kind of should because I feel main thing. This set was short as fuck, by the way. We get to the game, please. Better time so you can definitely see. All right, we got top player Lucrecio versus quote unquote overrated. The most Rino. overrated player in the UK, according. Oh. That was never gonna hit him. We're gonna go back and. So okay, so we see here you've jumped. He's put the gyro out. So he has literally said. He's literally looked at it and gone. This bit is mine. I own this part of the stage. But, I mean, I'm sure it's difficult to react to, but you, but like, considering he's got the gyro in hand, you have to be ready for the fact that the gyro is essentially a four-way projectile, and it is a pillar of death. When he has it in his hand, but like, we'll go back even further. No, we'll go back. Good lord. Yeah, so it's there. 
Like, considering it is there, if he's got in, he's going for his hand, and you haven't got any stage control, that means that not only is this a place you absolutely do not want to be, but it means you've got to be ready to react to the gyro coming towards you. Lucrecia is probably not just going to throw it at you for the most part. But you have to be ready for the fact that it's going to be in any one of these areas. This, this particular area, wherever the gyro is sat, is honestly the place where you never want to be. So I don't know why you've just kind of put yourself on it. I feel like that was like the very first sign of the fact that your matchup knowledge in this match was not the one. Um, and there's a lot of situations like that as well. A lot of these downers, which I don't think were good, because like you know the downers are not a problem for Lucrecio, not not a problem for Rob even. Like like if I, did, I mean if you hit him, then yeah, that's fine. Like you see this bit, the bit where you're doing damage. This is this is taking advantage of Rob's terrible terrible disadvantage. Alright, good patience, but with that. <laughs> oh my god, I've never faced by it. Catches the jump. I like uh, Lucrecio's spacing with the gyro though, he kind of put it at a landing distance, had like a little bit of space between him. Oh, very preemptive there, that wouldn't even yeah. have killed, I don't even know what Lucrecio was looking no, for. No, this is looking for damage. I'm assuming these are just, oh, these are just you messing up trying to pick up the gyro. I do agree with that. Ooh, that short hop, that is very menacing. Yeah. Oh, he actually went for the nair after the backer. Yeah. yeah. But that was just good. That was just him doing his offstage stuff. But, yeah. So, the key thing, I mean, it, that was honestly a lot of matchup uh, and experience. I, I think it'll be a good practice for you. Because I've seen you when you play and when you know how to fight the character. And it's really good. If you spend a little bit of time with every character, like looking at every character watching people play them at like a high level and looking at what their main options are and where they cover on the stage with their options that will be the best way for you to improve because I feel like the only reason this is going to sound egotistical of me but the only reason that even though when we play you tend to win more th than I do overall I'm still doing better because I have the, the the core fundamentals of the fact that I've not I know roughly what every character does to a decent degree, except Diddy fuck Diddy that character's broken, but every almost every character, I know exactly what they're doing in any given situation, and it means that I'm able to look at what they have, know when to do certain things, know what not to do. I feel like you don't quite have that in your skill set yet, and that's definitely where I feel. That's why I feel that when we go out of out of uh, East Anglia, why you don't perform to the level that I think you should. So if you just make sure to sit down, I'll even sit. I'll even help you. You've got me on. You've got me on Facebook. Add me, like you know, just ask me about characters, and I'll try my best to help you and explain stuff. I'll even do a video like this for you. Maybe I'll make a series of it. But yeah, I uh, honestly recommend just looking at stuff because that honestly looked like primarily. I don't know what this character does, and I don't know how to combat this character properly. And while your punish game was on point, you didn't know how to deal with his tools once he once you know he was doing stuff. That I'm sorry, I can't give you anything more, anything like more solid than that. I can't give you any set. This mess up. It's such a short vod. But I'm hoping that'll be able to help you. Uh, again, you know, ask me any questions if you've got any. I'm gonna get the next one up now. The next game is Luna again. So I'll copy that. Is Luna in here? I assume he is. Yes, he is. 